Hey, Yarn of Bees. So we moved the shop around. Uh, Charlene and I did this. We've got all of our bags up here now, showcased. And we've got our new wallets in here. And this is where that area was that um, my stuff got stolen. So I moved everything and now I can see where everything is. And we've got a mannequin here. We've got these. These are new. They just came in. It's a gift set. Uh, here we've got our little adorable purses. They're change purses. Here I'm showcasing the leggings. And here is the jumpsuit that I'm wearing. <laughs> so I think it looks a lot better. And I'll try and bring it out. So I think it looks a little more inviting. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? <sighs> today <laughs> it's starting off to be not the way I thought it was going to be. So I'm supposed to be on my way to work right now. But George uses my car in the morning to do the door dashing. And then he switches over to his van. And um, he used my car this morning and then he had to go out of town to do a job for carpet cleaning. And he took my keys with him. Yes, because he lost my other set and uh, hasn't had it replaced yet. So <laughs> here I sit. <laughs> Oh, but that's okay. It gives me a little time to wake up. It's been a weird few days. So, anyway. Um, I don't know what I've got to talk about. So, you see the new setup for my shop? Well, guess what? I changed it again. <laughs> so, I couldn't stand the way the desk was in that pole. So I moved it all again. Um, just that corner I moved. Uh, and I think it's going to work out a lot better. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. It feels like forever since I've been in this room. Oh, I miss being in here. But to be honest, I miss being at home and crocheting all the time and stuff. I crochet at work, but it's not the same. It's not the same. <clears throat> I should wear my ears today, maybe. Maybe that'll make me feel better today. Yeah. How about that? Yeah? <laughs> um, I had a wonderful visit from a subscriber. Uh, she lives on the mainland, and um, she came to visit me. It was kind of a shock because I looked like crap yesterday. Um, I had had a bad night the night before with my acid reflux. And so I wasn't quite feeling being there. Almost didn't go. But then something said, no, you got to go in. But I was just not myself at all. And I felt so bad when she came in because I looked like hell. I was not. Excuse me. I was not my usual jovial, you know, hi, <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just like, oh, it was a bad day to be meeting me. <laughs> um, if she had it gone the day before, I was all dressed up and everything. And then if she had it gone today, well, I 
she came later in the afternoon, so I, I'll be there <laughs> later in the afternoon today. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, I felt horrible. As soon as I get the picture from her and get the okay to show it, I will, um, I'm not saying her name or anything yet because I don't know if she wants to be, uh, you know, outed like that. So, um, you know who you are though. Uh, so I'm going to wait until I get the okay from her, but it was so nice to see her. I tell, and I think it was her daughter that came with. Um, and they bought some earrings and stuff and, uh, it was so nice. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't come on camera. Oh my God. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a pleasant surprise. Um, and, oh, what else? I took Bailey to work yesterday. She was very happy, very happy, but. She, she laid around a lot because <laughs> there wasn't very many customers. And uh, she I bought her a, pig, a pig's foot and usually she just goes after them. She didn't yesterday. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe she's not feeling well. So, anyway. So, yeah, I just thought I'd sit and have a cup of coffee with you and uh, wait for George. And I don't know what to talk about. Um, I'm still working on my projects. I have a couple packages that I have to mail out today. And my iPad, oh, my iPad won't charge. So, okay. The screen on my computer, on my laptop, is the, the bottom part. The, the frame is coming apart for some reason, so I can't close it and I can't open it very good. Oh, I don't know how that happened. It obviously something got dropped or whatever, but <clears throat> yeah, it just all of a sudden, it was all a mess. So I got to get that fixed. And then my iPad, I thought, I got an iPad. Why am I not taking that to work with me? So it worked great the first day I took it. And then the second day I took it, it wasn't charging. So I'm going, okay, so... Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry. <clears throat> um, So, now I got to go and try and find a new um, charging cord or something at Best Buy or something. Because uh, this is not going to work for me. I, I keep using my cell phone to watch whatever. I try to watch min it videos and stuff at work. So, <clears throat> when there's no customers. <laughs> Which is a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got to get that checked out. We have a tour bus coming next week, I think. Um, oh, and, uh, Wednesday next week, a week from today, I go in for my procedure, <clears throat> not my surgery. I have to go in for the procedure where they put the tube down the nose into my stomach and then as they pull it out, they we, they look at the contractions or whatever in my esophagus and everything. Um, <clears throat> and they need that test for the surgery. They need to know what something, I don't know. Um, but they need to have the results of that test before they can do the surgery. Oh, bees are out. <clears throat> Squirrel. <laughs> um I have high anxiety about this. Um, I was told by the surgeon that I can't take anything like Ativan or anything like that for this procedure. But when the hospital called me, they said, absolutely, you can. And I thought, okay. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But... I am on the wait list for the surgery. It can happen anytime. And for those of you that are new that don't know, I have a hiatal hernia. Um, and I've had it since I was like 17. And it's progressively gotten worse and worse and worse. And my acid reflux is insane. I take acid blockers for that. 
um, but it's gotten to, like the last test results that I had, like the scans and everything showed, I went from having a small hernia to a big hernia. So they said, you know, I need to get this dealt with now. I would have loved to have gotten it dealt with years ago, but apparently they couldn't do that. So here I am 54 years old and I have to get it done now. Right. Um, so <clears throat> I'm on that wait list. So you'll know when I know. <laughs> um, next week, what is today? The 10th? I guess it's next week. Um, oh, George is trying to contact me. I'll talk to him in a minute. Um, next week is my one year wedding anniversary with George. We've been together for eight years, but we got, just got married last year for new, new people. The day before, uh, that's on the... 14th the day after on the 15th is my birthday and then of course mother's day is on the 14th i found out so so yeah i got a whole weekend of stuff that's not gonna happen because i'm working and george is working and we're broke ass <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah there's that but oh well we'll just it'll be another day i guess Hmm. Although, George did go on the radio and win uh, a gift certificate to White Spot. <laughs> so, maybe he'll take me out for, you know, a dinner at White Spot. <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyways, I just wanted to kind of come on and say, hello, I'm still here. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to crochet a little bit more. I got to get these projects done. I got like four on the go and I got to get them done so I can show you guys. Yeah. So leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys are working on. Are you working on some summer stuff? Are you working on winter stuff? I had a comment that asked um, about the arm thing I'm making. <clears throat> Why I have this fixation about using heavy yarns or double stranded yarns. Um, it's because I can't use thin yarns. I try, but my hands cramp and everything and bad things happen. Um, so I'm mixing the thinner yarns with the thicker yarns. Okay, George is trying to get a hold of me, like, for the second time. So <clears throat> I am going to go, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I love you all. Bye.